everyone welcome back to another video look what just came in the mail <laughs> I'm so excited I have finally received Joanna Bassford's 30 days of creativity of course today was the release date and so I know a lot of you are probably receiving your books as well but I thought I could just do a flip through and first impressions of this book with y'all today. If you are just seeing this book for the first time, I will make sure it is linked down in the description box below. This is Johanna Bassford's newest release since releasing her last book, Worlds of Wonder. Let's go ahead and get into the flip through. So we have this gorgeous cover. It just says Johanna Bassford's 30 Days of Creativity. Draw, color, and discover your creative self. Let's go ahead and open this up. We've got this front page here with a bunch of cute little images, butterflies, cakes, popsicles, uh, hot air balloons, and then it just has this little flap that opens up. You could color in these little circles if you wanted to and maybe even do a background on this inner flap. And then over here we have our initial front page. If we open it up, we've got her publisher, Penguin Books, and we've got some cute little robots here, and then it just has the copyright information, 2021. If we come over here, we've got the This Book Belongs To page, so you can put your name in here, you can color these pretty flowers, you can create a background if you want to. Here we have the introduction page and it just says this book is for anyone who wants to kickstart their creativity. Maybe you loved art at school but don't know how to get back into it or maybe you used to draw and paint and somehow the passion just slipped away from you. Or maybe you create every day but want a fresh new challenge to fire up those creative muscles. Well, this is the book for you. So if you want to finish reading this page, you can go ahead and just pause the video here. I'm not going to read through all of that, but this book is basically a 30-day challenge to get you to be creative in some way each day for 30 days. So here she's got her tips page and it just says, when drawing, I like to sketch in pencil first, then I draw over the pencil lines with ink, wait for the ink to dry, then gently erase the pencil. There's some advice on art supplies on the next page. For coloring, I prefer pencils to pens. They are more versatile, allowing you to blend colors and vary the intensity of tone. Pens are a little less forgiving and sometimes the ink can bleed through the page. If you are using ink, use the color palette test pages at the back of the book to check if they are likely to bleed through the paper. Pop a few sheets of blank paper under the page you are working on. This catches the ink transfer and also cushions your hand, making for a nicer surface to work on. Don't put pressure on yourself to complete a page each day. All you need to do is 10 minutes a day. At the end of your 30 days, you can revisit the pages that you haven't completed. Keep track of your progress during the 30 days using the habit tracker and then share your progress by posting photos of your work with hashtag 30 days of creativity or by uploading your pictures to my coloring gallery at joannabasford.com. Both of these actions will help you to keep accountable and part of the community. Two things that we know help us adopt a new habit. Basically, the purpose of this book is just so that you are challenged to create a new habit just to be creative for 30 days. And here it talks about all the different art supplies. If you want to read through all of that, you could go ahead and pause the video there and read through it. Here we have the habit tracker and it just says stay accountable on the 30 day challenge. Each day that you complete the required 10 minutes on a page, color a circle. So you would just color in a circle each day you're creative for only 10 minutes. Taking the 30 day challenge again, get a free download of this habit tracker. So you can go to her website and get a free download of it. I love a cup of tea properly brewed in a teapot and served in a pretty teacup. Add decorations to the teacups and coffee mugs on the opposite page. Use the designs on this page for ideas and inspiration. Now we need some cake to go with our tea and coffee. So you can see you get a bunch of little uh, teapots here and teacups and she shows you all of these little doodle designs and everything and then you would just take that and you would apply it to the other page over here in these drawn out coffee mugs. 
And then after you do your drawing, you could of course always come back and color in your own artwork. Okay, so up here we have a bunch of little jars on a shelf and it says, imagine a lazy Sunday morning spent visiting quaint little cafes and bakeries. Sounds heavenly, doesn't it? Whether you enjoy your morning coffee with a slice of cherry pie or toast smothered in honey, there's something for everyone in this collage of treats. Settle down with your pencils and begin coloring your favorite item on the opposite page. Enjoying the coffee shop vibes? Stay a little longer and fill the space of this page with a few more of your favorite treats. So you could just pick an image over here on this page and spend 10 minutes coloring something to create your new habit and be challenged at the same time. So it looks like we're going to get some coloring and some drawing in this book as well. There is something so soothing about working on a symmetrical motif. Complete the nature-themed design on the opposite page, replicating the pattern in the remaining three quarters. So all you're going to do over here on this page is you are going to take this pattern here and then you are going to finish the motif all the way around. Okay, so this looks like the same as the page from World of Flowers. On the opposite page, you will find 25 imagined blooms all awaiting your colors. Don't worry about trying to identify each stem or about coloring them realistically. Instead, embrace the mixed up world of my inky hybrids. Use the space below to invent a few of your own flowers. So you could use this space down here and get really creative and copy some of these flowers onto the page here if you wanted to. And you can also come over here and color in all of these. I'm really excited to have this page because in my World of Flowers books, I have colored so many of them just to create tutorials for my YouTube channel. Okay, so now we have this page and it says, bringing a few blossoms indoors is a simple way to to spread a little cheer. Drawing flowers has the same effect on me. Fill the vases with lots of different imagined flowers. Don't get bogged down trying to replicate the exact bloom. Just have fun and make them up. Don't forget to add a few leaves and sprigs of foliage too. So you're just working on filling all of the little vases here. You could even come in and add some patterns onto some of these vases and it would look really, really pretty and then come back and color all of them in. Progress is not perfection. So she just has a brief little thing here and I'm not going to read through all of this, but I'll leave it like this. So if you wanna pause the video, you can read it. And then over here, progress, not perfection. And of course, if you wanted to color this in, you could. No matter how old we are, a trip to the candy store is always a treat. Jars of rainbow colored sweets paper bags stuffed with lemon drops and bonbons or melty popsicles get your sugar high on paper without the toothache <laughs> will you use rainbow colors to add pops of vibrant color to these little illustrations or will you go for muted pastel shades so you have choices and then you're just supposed to color all of this in and then she says why not try adding some glitter gel pen details so I love taking my colored pencils and adding gel pens and my Posca and whatever else, but these little candy treats look like a lot of fun to color, and then you could come back and do a background if you wanted to as well. An inky botanical sphere is a perfect place for special words. Create your own flowery circle on the opposite page, and then add a quote or a phrase that inspires or creates joy for you. So you could just draw some flowers all around here. You can probably copy this if you wanted to onto the other page, and then you could put some little motivational words inside there. You could even fill the circle with a bunch of patterns or any kind of design you wanted to. Do you have a passion for pencils? Oh my gosh, is that so funny? <laughs> oh, I love it. I do, <laughs> actually. A weakness for washi tape? Me too. Does your heart skip a beat when you set a tin of coloring pencils arranged in neat rainbow order? Yes. <laughs> Mine too. Art materials are our tickets to adventure. They allow us to draw, color, and craft and literally create cheer. cheer. Create your dream set of coloring pencils below or add a splash of color to the motifs on the opposite page. So you could color in all of these colored pencils however you 
you want to. And then we have, again, it looks like these are the same little motifs that were on the front cover where the flap came over. And then we have up, up, and away. We all need a good adventure from time to time, even if it's just of the daydream variety. Doodle some patterns on the hot air balloons opposite and for a few minutes allow yourself to drift away into a cloud filled sky. And then she just gives you some little tips here for precise patterns. Draw in pencil first and then go back over your lines in ink. I always, always draw in pencil first because I'm always so afraid I'm going to mess something up. And I always come back with my ink and then I come back and I just erase the lines that were underneath it from the pencil. And that's really easy to do. You just use a pencil that does not have as much pigment and you can create lighter lines and just go really, really light with your hand. But you can draw all kinds of cool patterns in these balloons and then color them in. And here she's showing you how to make cakes and how to decorate them and everything. And then it just says, use this page to create the cakes of your dreams. And so you can just have a whole page of nothing but cakes. You could copy some of hers. You can create your own designs. Do more of what makes you happy. Life is short, so we have precious little time to waste of things that don't bring us joy. If you are coloring a page or working on a drawing, it's not going the way you would like, course correct. Make some changes, try a few new colors, add some gel pen details, try adding something new to the composition, listen to some music or rotate the page and work on it upside down. And then she goes on to give you some more ideas. Just always when you're coloring, make yourself happy. And if you feel like something doesn't look right, bring in some other mediums. That's a really great idea. Time for a quick fun doodle game. Fill the heart shapes on the opposite page with as many patterns and shapes as you can. This is a great creative exercise to get you thinking of ways to fill the spaces in your pictures. So you can come over here and just create a whole bunch of different patterned hearts and then you can come back and you could color in the background as well. And again, you could copy her decorations or you can make your own. When I look at this, the only thing I think is Zentangle and how much fun these would be to fill these in with Zentangle designs. I don't know how many of you know what Zentangle is, but I was very much into it not too long ago. Take a deep breath, the ocean waves, and explore this inky coral reef. Bring this collection of underwater illustrations alive with ocean-inspired colors and maybe even a little glitter pen. I love small compositions like these on the opposite page. They are perfect for when you don't have much time and just want to do a small, complete picture in 10 minutes. And I love her books for exactly this. And that is what I use World of Flowers for a lot of times because it has all of these little small things on here that you could just color and get something complete and done in one go. Fill these planters with your own leafy house plants. See how many different types of leaves you can draw and don't forget to include some cacti and succulents. So you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna fill all of these little pots. Now we have some robots. So it says robots. Oh, how simple life would be if we just had a few extra hands. As you are coloring these little guys, imagine what super helpful functions they could have in your life. Pencil sharpener robot, a laundry folding droid, color, a few of your favorites, or the entire robo squad. So you could just come in here and color all of these robots. And I'm thinking lots of metallics would be very, very cool on these pages. And then we have a lot of different baking things. So it says, I love a little baking. The simple act of following a recipe and making something delicious and homemade always creates calm in my kitchen. If you haven't gotten the time or the ingredients to whip up a cake just now, then pick up your pencils and color these little baking drawings instead. Every artist is a child. And then she goes on here with a little blurb explaining how every child is an artist and then you could come over here to this page and you can color this in and then create a really pretty background if you wanted to. That looks like it would have been fun with gel pens. And this paper is just like in all of her other books, so it will take several different mediums. Just like she said in the beginning, make sure you put something behind the page or test it out on the blotter pages that are in the back of the book. A recipe passed down the generations or between friends is such a treasure. This is my grand's lemon butter cake. Use the opposite page to create an illustrated recipe for one of your favorite cakes. 
So we have all of the ingredients here for the recipe, and then you can come over here and create your own recipe if you wanted to. And then of course you can come over here and you could color all of these in as well. Okay, so it looks like now we have a whole bunch of postcards. I adore getting letters in the mail. The sight of a handwritten envelope and a colorful stamp never fail to bring a smile to my face. Add a little color to the stamps on the opposite page and decide from where in the world each began its journey. That is super, super cool. This looks like a really fun color. And again, if you wanted to come in here and just color something and color each individual thing and take 10 minutes a day, you can just do one at a time if you wanted to. The circle is full of little doodles inspired by my life. The things I love, my hobbies, my work, objects that I see every day, I call it an all about me illustration. So you would just take this over here and you could copy and make your own in this circle on the opposite side, or you can make it all about the things that you love and enjoy and are meaningful to you. And then it looks like we've got some little snow globes here. And then she just gives you little hints in here telling you to select five or six colors from your pencils, three shades of pink, yellow, and a couple greens. So she's giving you some ideas over here. And then, I don't know, when I color these, I would maybe take some of her suggestions, mix in a little bit of my suggestions, maybe add a little bit of glitter, and really enjoy coloring in the snow in some of these, like this one here, and then the snow in the background here. Make it glittery and sparkly, maybe bring in my Posca pens. And then here it looks like she's showing you step by step how to draw an ice cream cone and then how to do the popsicle. It says you are never too old for ice cream, never. So follow the simple step by step guides to create your own glorious selection of ice creams and popsicles. And then she gives you a bunch of different ones down here. And then she gives you the page to be able to draw all your own. This looks like a lot of fun. And then she gives you a little motivational page here that says inspire, not intimidate. And then you've got this that you could color and then do a background again if you wanted to. Sharpen those coloring pencils and let's bring this freshly picked page to life. Will you go traditional or use nature as your color palette inspiration or will you go bananas and create entirely new varieties of these familiar fruits? Purple pineapples, rainbow raspberries, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Can you spot the fruit that's often mistaken as a vegetable? So these would be really fun to color and they wouldn't take that long at all to color those in. And like she said, you can get creative and color your pineapples purple or you could stick to regular natural colors. Doodles are my favorite. <laughs> I love just sitting down and taking a pencil and just creating doodles. And that's kind of the same idea like I talked about earlier, like the Zentangle patterns and designs. And she gives you a whole page to just sit and doodle. Bath time. I'm not sure if it's the scent of lavender or sandalwood, the bubbles, or just the tranquil quiet of a candlelit bathroom, but there's something rather blissful about a bath. And then she just gives you all of these images that you could just come and color as much or as little as you like. Stop and smell the flowers. Lose yourself for half an hour or sew amid the petals in this pretty spear. There's a little break in the blossoms. Will you leave that space empty, allowing the blooms to breathe? Or will you fill it with more flowers or even a sprinkling of butterflies or bees? So she's giving you some ideas and suggestions, or you could just continue this pattern, or you could leave it blank or add some of your own thing. You could do whatever you want there and really get creative. Now we have a page full of kites. It says, let's go fly a kite. Add patterns and shapes and details to the kites on the opposite page. So she gives you a few ideas here. You could do stripes and stars and polka dots and zigzags, or you could just do whatever you want and create the patterns and color them in. Here we have another little like motivational page. Go outside the lines. True confession, I go over the lines all the time. If you ever watched one of my live videos, you'll know this. And you know what? I don't care and neither should you. <laughs> I totally agree. Go outside the lines. So it just has this little page here that you could color in and do a background. These kaleidoscope-like butterfly motifs will look beautiful in bright jewel shades 
and equally pretty and soft muted tones. Which one will you choose? So these are just here for you to color and decide what your color palette should be. I would choose my color palette depending upon my mood. That's usually what I do. Adorned in patterns and embellishments, these pretty lanterns are the perfect addition to any party. Add details to the simple lanterns on the opposite page using the ones on this page for your inspiration. So again, you're just taking what you see over here and applying it over here and drawing some of your own thing. Hello, pencil lovers. These are fun pages for coloring with all your favorite art supplies. While the pattern is mainly pencils, there's also a few crayons and pastels in there too. Color a few, color them all. The choice is yours. And then here we, it looks like we've got lots of flowers and leaves. For me, flowers and nature are endlessly inspiring and constantly calming. I think so many of us feel the same exact way and that's why we continue to buy Johanna's books. There's no hustle or bustle here, just a couple of simple floral motif motifs waiting to flourish. Will you opt for delicate muted tones or bold tropical bright ones? Again, choose the color palette that you're just really feeling the vibe for. A lot of times when it's nighttime, I like to color in like blues and more muted tones. And when it's like during the day, I like to bring out my really bright, vibrant colors. And as far as the leaves, I like coloring leaves any time of the day. <laughs> A simple floral frame like this is the ideal place for an inspirational quote, your favorite poem or lyrics from a song you love. Oh, what a great idea. So you can come over here and just make your own little inspirational thing. You can color it in. You can make a really cool background with a drawing or you bring in some other mediums and create a background. You can copy hers over here if you wanted to, or you could make your own flowers or really anything you want. If you wanted to do butterflies or whatever. And then we have this beautiful cake here you can color in and it says the end. You did it, congratulations on completing 30 days of creativity challenge. I hope you had fun and that this little book of nudges, prompts, and ideas has kickstarted your creativity. But this isn't really the end, it's actually the beginning. Now that you have started the creative journey, keep going. Go back and complete some of the pages, add more details and embellishments to others, and keep the momentum going. You've got this, much love, Johanna. And then you've got your color palette test pages, and then we have another color palette test page, so front and back. And then we have this flat back here that is the same as the one in the front, I believe. And you can color that in if you want. You could even put a background to really make all of those little drawn images that are so cute really, really stand out. And then we have the flap here and it just shows all of Johanna's coloring books that she has put out so far. And then here is the back cover, your invitation to create calm and discover more joy. And then of course she tells you a little bit about the book and exactly what it is. And then here it says Johanna Basford is the creator of Worlds of Wonder and it lists all of the other books that she has created and she has sold 21 million copies worldwide. Wow, that's a lot of coloring books sold. And y'all know how much we all love all of her coloring books. I also have her other previous drawing book. That is absolutely wonderful. I use that one all the time still, and I get lots of ideas from it. So I'm really excited for this one. And I hope that you enjoyed that flip through and my first impressions. I really, really love this book. And I hope you're able to get your hands on it too. I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.